Hey everyone, it's Raphael here and I'm gonna show you how to add an echo effect for your audio using iMovie. So there are two ways that we can do this and I have both methods on screen right now so you can skip to a particular point in the video if you want to do it in a certain way. So those are the two methods that I'll be demonstrating for this video. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Um, let's, this, I simply have, an, have a, an example over here so I'm gonna go ahead and play it right now. My audio track starts here. As you can see, the wavelength gets a bit higher, so let's play it. Hey everyone, it's Raphael here, and this is a test audio for the video. So that's simply me talking, simply me saying a random line that it's a test audio. So to add the echo effect, simply click on this so it's highlighted yellow. So click on the yellow, I'll click on the box so it's highlighted yellow. And then head over here to this tab that says Clip Filters and Audio Effects. That's this one over here. And then Underneath that you should see audio effects, so click this box right here, and this should pop up. So since we're talking about echo, we're going to look for this one, so click echo audio delay. For the video. Now let's go ahead and click that and listen to it. Hey everyone, it's Raphael here, and this is a test audio for the video. So that's one way that you can add an echo effect. So now I'm going to show you the other method, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of revert this back to normal. So that is how you add it with that, um, with that method. Let's go ahead and show you the second way. So what I want to do is right click and then click detach audio. So that, that way the audio is separated into, um, it's separated from the video basically. And then right after you do that, you can kind of copy and paste this. So um, use command C to copy and then command V to paste. And then you'll have one at the very bottom and now to kind of add the echo effect this way, what we're gonna do, I would actually recommend you zoom in as much as you can over here. Zoom in because you can kind of see the details a lot um, easier. Now to add the echo effect, you can kind of move this second track that you just created, because don't mess with the original track because that's the one that will sync with the video, but you want the second track to be edited and make sure that's highlighted yellow so you know which one you're editing and then kind of drag it to the right a little bit. And basically what this will do, is you'll have a very subtle difference when you play the audio tracks together that it creates the illusion of an echo. So the greater the difference is, the more um, obvious it will be. Now, I would recommend do not make it too um, much to the right or else it will just sound like, audio will just sound really wrong. So I would say add a subtle difference, meaning move it to the right a little bit, but not, not too much and not too little. So let's go ahead and kind of test the sound out right now. Hey everyone, it's Raphael here, and this is a test audio for the video. So you can kind of see, well, you kind of hear that the echo effect is still there, um, but um, that is so. That's another way we did it. Um, yeah, that's how you add an echo effect. Uh, whichever one works for you, really, like whichever one works for you, you can go in and do that. But um, what I would say to do before with this method though is kind of kind of make sure that this doesn't go past your video length or else it will simply add an extra amount of um, filler that you don't want. It will just simply make the video a bit longer. So yeah, that's simply how you do it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Like I said before, it really depends on what your video is about because the other effect might work for you or this one might sound better for you. It depends really on what your project is about. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you in the next tutorial.